Member for Saanich South. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Centre of the Universe is an interpretive education centre for the Saanich Observatory. It helps kindle a love of science in thousands of children and youth every year. It's an irreplaceable tourist attraction and educational resource, and it's set to close in one month. Given that we need to be doing more to encourage our young people to enter the sciences, can the Minister of Technology and Innovation outline what steps this government has taken to advocate to the federal government to keep the centre of the universe open? Minister of Tourism. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I have to say it was a real positive sign that the tourism industries continue to see positive growth even after the huge year 2010 the Winter Olympics, which this side of the House supported, Madam Speaker. <laughs> and Madam Speaker, year after year, this industry has seen continued growth in British Columbia and contributing to our provincial GDP, despite the economic challenges we're seeing in the rest of the world. Madam Speaker, this side of the House, this, side, this, this government, has, has created Destination BC. This is, uh, this is a great example where government has listened to the tourism industry and has said, this is the organization that's going to take us to the next step, Madam Speaker. This is an organization that will ensure that we partner with industry, with government, to ensure that this spectacular province is marketed as a visitor destination to the rest of the world. Member for Saanich South. Thank you. Houston, we have a problem if that's the minister's answer. <laughs> Canada's renowned astronaut Chris Hadfield has a family member living in Saanich South. She spoke to me this morning about how proud she is that he has helped to inspire so many Canadian children. And she emphasized just how important it is to take every opportunity to promote science to our children because they are the future. This is a nonpartisan issue. Will the minister work with me and other concerned citizens to press the federal government to reconsider this decision? I have a petition in my office if the minister would like to start by signing it. Sure. Minister of Tourism. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And of course, we're going to work with our partners in industry and other levels of government to ensure that we maximize the potential for tourism in British Columbia. <laughs> Madam, Speaker, Madam Speaker, the provincial tourism strategy is a five year strategy entitled Gaining the Edge, and it will focus members, on government. Members and will come to order. Madam Speaker, our Provincial tourism strategy. It's a five year strategy. It's called Gaining the Edge. It will ensure that we focus our attention on ensuring that government, industry, and our stakeholders work together to ensure that we grow our revenues in tourism to $18 billion. Madam Speaker, tourism is so important to this government that the Premier has appointed not one, but two ministers to be responsible for tourism in British Columbia. 